Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. t Vlogs here. What's up, guys? So it's time once again for another food review, and this time at the headquarters of Baking by Brandy, or Amateur Cakes, as they're also known, especially on Facebook. Go check them out if you haven't already. We're going to be experimenting with some Earl Grey infused shortbread cookies. Now, they've made a few different types of them here. This is the first experiment that they did following the recipe verbatim. After this one, there's going to be one that Brandy herself tweaked a little bit to kind of add her own taste to it to see if it works any better. Her opinion is that the second batch worked out better, but I'm going to find out for myself today whether or not the first batch, which is the recipe verbatim, is better than the tweaked recipe. So no more talking. Let's find out. This is the first one. The shortbread consistency is definitely there, and I can really taste the Earl Grey. The Earl Grey is in full effect here. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you also use some of the lavender. I can taste the lavender in there too. I'm a huge fan of lavender Earl Grey tea. I'm a little biased, I love my Earl Grey tea. I do taste the shavings and whatnot like on my tongue, like I can feel them kind of gritting in my teeth, but you can see, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but you can actually see the leaves and whatnot infused into the cookie, which gives it its taste. One more taste. Not too shabby. I snack on these quite a bit, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now. It's time to try the second cookie, the one where the recipe was tweaked. Is it going to be better? Let's find out. Well, this one looks relatively the same, and no, I did not already bite out of it. It decided to die halfway out of the bag. My fault. It happens. The, right off the bat, the granules look a lot finer, so I have a feeling the texture of them being in my teeth won't quite be there. Uh, it looks a lot neater, so again, let's give it a go and see how it tastes. This time the flavors are a lot more well balanced. The shortbread consistency is again there, but it's a little more moist than a typical shortbread cookie. There's, usually shortbreads got more of a bite to it. This is a little more soft and moist, and there's not quite as many chunks of the Earl Grey leaves in there. It doesn't quite taste as sweet, but the taste of the tea is definitely there. I have to say, out of the two cookies, they're definitely right. The second batch worked a little bit better, for my taste anyway. Both cookies are great, so if you want to make these yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link down below to the video that's how to make these cookies so you can try them yourself. You can follow the recipe verbatim or as they found out at Amateur Cakes, you can kind of play with it a little bit and adjust things to your tastes. So if you guys want to see some more of my reviews, don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a little bit link up there for you so you guys can see all of my other reviews. Check out my outings and whatnot. I just had a trip to Grant's Farm you guys are going to be seeing, so check me out. So that's all I really have to say for you guys today. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon, and take care. Bye-bye.